Okay, in today's tutorial, we'll be taking a black and white image and converting it to a color image in Photoshop. Now, this is just an image I found on um, the web, just a random search just to get something with skin tones. And I'm going to show you just how powerful and easy this is to accomplish in Photoshop. Here's a look at what we'll be creating. We're making this full color image out of this original black and white image so okay let's get started as you see I have just the black and white image set as the background in Photoshop and what I do whenever I'm doing anything in Photoshop I usually duplicate the background image um, by pressing ctrl J first right and I create a new layer I turn off that original layer just in case I ever need to go back to the original image I always have the original image saved right there in the project All right that's just um, for safety but the method we'll be using to convert this to full color actually doesn't interfere with the original image we're just gonna be doing this as a good habit for any time you're doing anything in Photoshop so for starters the largest area that I will need to color inside of here would be the um, skin tones. Now there's a number of different ways to do this. Um, this is just my preferred method that's going to give you a lot of control. Um, we're going to go to your adjustment layers at the bottom here and we're going to create a gradient map. And by default your gradient map is going to be a grayscale gradient map which we don't need. Um, so we'll click on the gradient map and we'll set the lighter color from white to something that's closer to skin tone. Alright, so we go something in the orangish, reddish, yellowish area, you know, um, a lighter skin tone. We could always tweak this later on and come back and adjust it and get it to be the color that we want. So we just want to get something that's close. Alright, so just play with it a little bit until we get something that's close to skin tone. Alright, that works. And then the black color. We're actually going to pick something, a brown tone as well, but we want to go fairly dark, almost black, but not quite black. Okay, and you press OK, OK here. And you see now, already you have the gradient map giving you the impression of color, right? And it matches very closely to the original black and white image. What the gradient map actually does is it maps colors um, on all the values from white to black so all your grayscale tones will now have a colored tone because of the gradient map and what that means is that your entire image is now instead of black and white is brown and white but sorry brown and black all right and any event um, what we need to do is to eliminate this color from the parts of the image that we don't want to have the skin tone all right so you see if you look on the gradient map layer you'll notice there's a mask already attached to it and if you click on that mask and then switch to your brush tool we can actually increase the size of the brush by pressing the right square bracket and decrease with the left square bracket and basically what we're going to do is paint away all the stuff that we don't need to be colored by using a black color on the mask right and if you hold alt and click on the mask you'll actually see the mask is just a black and white layer and basically anything that's black will be invisible and anything that is white will be visible yeah. alt and click on it again and you get go back to your original and if you hold down control and space you get the magnifying glass so you can zoom in to your image if you hold space by itself you can move the image around and you just need to resize the brush and erase close to the border where you don't want the color to be now as I said there are other ways to do this I just prefer to do it this way using the layer mask and the brush tool um, it works great for me using a mouse as opposed to um, using a tablet because I don't actually use a tablet but it gives me a certain level of precision 
because it's fairly easy to paint with the mouse and broad strokes like this and I could um if I make a mistake and erase something that I'm not supposed to erase I can just switch between the black and white colors up here by pressing X and you'll realize that the colors swap when I press X so if I swap and paint white instead it'll actually put back white on the mask and apply my um, gradient back to the image and to erase I just press X again and it switches back and I can go ahead and erase so using this method it's fairly simple for me to paint along the edges and if I make mistakes I just correct it and continue going alright this is probably the most tedious part of the process but um, it's worth it. it it gives you a lot more control than if you were to do like um, a path or any other method of you know selecting the area that you wanted to color in Photoshop this this just gives you a, a lot of control that is um, matched back visually in terms of what you actually want to, to get color All right, and I'll just finish off around here um, if you're finding that you're getting trouble painting close to the, the area then you shrink your brush and magnify and zoom in a little bit and you'll be able to get more precision right. this might be tedious the first time you do it but after you do this a couple of times it gets a lot easier and don't be afraid to make mistakes it's very easy to correct mistakes using this method alright and go around the fingernail and on the side of the finger Again, this doesn't have to be perfect um, but if you want that added level of perfection just shrink the brush and zoom in to multi image and you can add a lot more detail all right and we're almost done just need to finish off here now here's an interesting point um, when the brush is a round brush and you have a point inside of here that you need to erase what I do is go over the edge erase that then switch and fill back in the piece alright and that gives me a sharp point inside without me having to shrink the brush down too small alright and go off the edge with that color this as well Right, I have now zoom out to the full image, press Ctrl and 0 on your number pad and that zooms out to your full image. And you'll see you have a fairly even outline of the image. Of course, there's still all this junk on your side to get rid of, but there's an easy way to get rid of it. Hold Alt and you click on your mask and you get the black and white image. Press W to go to your magic wand tool and select the white area here this represents the area that we want to keep you go to select modify and expand when you expand by of two or three pixels press ok so that now is selecting within your black outline if you hold ctrl shift and i that will invert your selection so that you're now selecting everything outside of the area that you wanted to keep press X to switch back your colors to make sure that you have black as your foreground color, color and if you press alt and backspace it will fill your selected area with your foreground color All right and now when we go back you realize that only the area on this side is colored with the skin tone and the rest of it is black and white because that area is being masked out on the gradient map mask 
Now there's also a little piece inside of here that we need to get out that we can do the same way. Um, but as a shortcut, what I sometimes do, I go on to the image, use the magic wand tool and select the area that I want to remove and go back to the mask and use Alt and Backspace to paste the foreground color into the mask. And that does the same thing, only a lot quicker. Alright, so now we have the skin tones colored. Um, in addition to this, I would want to remove the belly button ring because the belly button ring should not be the same as your skin tone. It's jewelry, so it should be different. And as such, I would want to paint that out of the mask. So I would switch back to my paintbrush and zoom in and increase the size of the brush a little bit. And zoom in some more and what I will do is just erase all the parts of the jewelry here. Right. I don't have to go all the way to the edge, just make sure and get the major parts. Zoom in a little bit again and shrink the brush down and clean up that there. That should give me fairly nice edges that would look as though the original jewelry was silver instead of that bronze skin tone that we were getting with the gradient overlay. Alright, and you'll notice also there's the little knob piece at the top there. If I increase the size of my brush tool I can just throw a couple dabs inside of here and get that and when we zoom back out you now have silver jewelry okay so to make this truly a colored image I would want the background to be colored as well so rather than having to go and paint out everything again to get um, a new gradient map on the background what I will do is select that layer press ctrl G to make a duplicate of the layer and hold alt and click on the mask so that the mask is visible and if i now press ctrl i that will invert the mask so what was black will now be white and what was white will now be black and when i hold alt and click on the mask again you see everything is now covered with the brown from the gradient map but because i have them separated i can now take this gradient map and double click on it and change the color so I'll move from skin tone to probably something blue and the background color as well I will change to something the blue range all right actually this doesn't even need to be blue this can be any color I want it to be they don't even have to match um, but that's entirely up to you press ok ok again and you see the only problem is because I had the navel ring masked out previously it is now showing up with that same background color that's easy enough to fix we go back into the mask for the gradient map and if I take the marquee selection tool I select all that and just alt backspace to fill it with black and now I go back out it is now back to the original silver all right. The final thing I would like to do may not be necessary depending on your image, but in this case, I don't want the fingernails to be brown. So I will go to my skin tone layer and I will zoom in and with the paintbrush, I will switch to white and just erase erase the parts of the fingernail that I want to be white. I erase this one as well. And erase this one. And last but not least, this one inside of here. Now this one is a bit tricky. 
because it's surrounded by skin tone but like I showed you before I'll just cover the whole thing switch my brush and then fill back in the area that I didn't want affected and there you go full color image from the original black and white and because this is just two adjustment layers above the original black and white layer you can turn them off at any time or you can add more layers you can do whatever you want if you wanted to change the color of the clothing or whatever or to give a color to the navel ring you would just create a new gradient map layer and mask it accordingly all right um well i guess that's it thanks a lot for watching and i hope that you learned something from watching this tutorial